Hey, welcome to my channel. Let's install BMW Diff. Let's put BMW Clutch Pack LSD into Miata subframe. We're looking at BMW E34 LSD. 30% locking ratio is 2.65. So it's pretty long, uh, but the fifth gear is uh, one to one in this gearbox. So it should kind of work together. It will probably have like 280 kilometers an hour top speed but it will be really quiet on the highway and the Miata is light, so should be all fine. So let's check out the pieces we have to make all this together. So that's how it looks like with stock Miata diff. I have also this E36 casing, maybe this will be a better option, I will try to put it there. This one is open, but the internals of these two should be fully exchangeable. So, I'm measuring, measuring and measuring, so this L profile uh, on top of the diff, it's all leveled. It's in the center line of an axis and I put it this E34 diff and I'm thinking and thinking beamers are like Legos you can put some parts of them together some don't so hopefully this will fit not like the clutch I will put the back cover on the E34 diff from the E36 uh, so I have these arms here in the back which I will mount here uh, there are bushings inside, I will replace them with this awesome yellow strong flex stuff and uh, I will use, there are two holes on the front of the diff uh, and I will make a profile and I will make, like, make shape something like this I will use, use these Miata bushings which are also pretty solid but not super solid Time to switch the covers and start cutting and welding again Yay. That's the right ratio I really want, but that will happen later. Uh, so I take this back cover and put it on this E34 diff because I want these two mounts, which this one lacks. So these two mounts will be used to, to make an arm like a Miata has on the diff. Oops. Worst case I can use also these holes, but I think I will not use them. I don't have the 14 mm Allen, so I made one from Miata Bolt, you know. You got a lot of working on the 20 or 30 years old stuff.
it's all measured up. Uh, time to start cutting the subframe itself so the E36 diff actually fits. Look at this. this. And I have to cut places here. So it all fits. It's going to be fun. <laughs> subframe update yeah probably totally dirty but check it out I'm welding and welding uh, I was thinking like let's reinforce these stock Miata mounts uh, since uh, they got some abuse and they will got even more abused look at what I found these are my awesome new welds see it's welded through I'm surprised but look here this is the stock Miata diff mount. The diff mounts from the bottom. And look at it. On the side where the diff usually breaks. Here. It's pretty fucked up already. up this brand new beautiful motor mount <laughs> this is on e30 and must go it won't fit the car okay so let's mount the new engine mounts because they may change the angle of the engine a bit so better to put them now and measure because I'm going to weld the diff in 
and uh, way how I will weld this will decide the final pinion angle. I will still be able to move the gearbox up and down so I can still kind of you know change it but this may change it so I want to have everything in place. That's all jigged up. That's how it's going to look. Check it out. So, time to weld it. Here there are power flex bushings, so we'll have to be careful. But this is the this is the other mount. The diff is already welded from the back, so now let's weld the front. The question why the, why there is this hole? It's simply because the screws cannot go out. There is a full tank like this over on top of this. So I hope this won't vibrate, but there should be enough clearance. But if not, I'll have to grind it down a bit. Also, the pinion angle set up, so it's 87.2. Let's weld it up permanently. tucked in so let's check it out before I rotate it remove the div and weld the whole thing properly see this is one brace it's using male amounts there are other two added here you can see it and it's welded here So yeah, a lot, lot of welding has to be done, but it has a shape, so now I will find out whether I can actually remove the diff from the subframe or not. Let's remove the polyurethans and I need to weld it properly. I don't want to burn the polyurethane, so hopefully, I hope it will work. I could weld it a bit better and grind it a bit more, but I think it will do the job. As this dries out, uh, because I will put the power flexes back there, I don't want to break the paint, you know. I will let it cure till tomorrow. Let's fill up these holes in the subframe. So there is a huge hole. I made a paper template. But yeah, paper template, you know, you can push it around and stuff not so easy with the two millimeter steel so I will now weld it on and slowly convince it using hammer to to fill the space it's supposed to spill so yeah more time lapses
one is getting longer and longer, sorry for that, but it's a hell of a job to put this subframe together. Uh, I've welded these, these mounts, I've put in the steel plates here, uh, I had to weld it twice, I didn't like it the first time, so I grind it off and weld it through. Now it's the time for the second part of the subframe, which is this one still just cut. This is the diff mount where the diff sits, you know, looking from the top. So this is, there's a rip on the diff, so I need to keep it like this. So this needs, I need to do some straightening there. Yeah. Lots more cutting and welding, but it's getting, getting till the end, so yeah, wish me luck. it two of these just roughly shape them up uh, there is nothing easier than shape them up later with the angle grinder you know on the on the place so I will just weld them in and slowly go from here and convince them with a hammer to fit in the place and then maybe cut the rest here we'll see how it ends up you know like one hour before the curfew, so I'll try to finish it and then it's time for a beer. So it's tucked in, but the COVID curfew starts in 20 minutes so i have to go home unfortunately but look at those welds see and this is the hole and this is the rip of the diff yeah i've got some, some stuff to do but the it's almost done i will finish it up tomorrow so the diff is together i have a guest today hi <laughs> So we'll try to put it now in the car, whether it still fits. So let's check it up and try to test fit it for the first time with the differential already on and everything welded. So all is good, diff is in, subscribe to Angle Grinders TV, you will see this car and my beautiful van. <laughs> Check it out, E34 diff in Miata, that's the first time I ever saw. It was probably a longer episode. I hope to enjoy it. Consider subscribing and share it with your friends if you like this build. This is the final product of this episode. I will have to powder coat it uh, so it will not look like ghetto welded. And yeah, I will order the drive shaft and next episode will be probably fitting the hubs. 
these. So I will have to machine, machine the hubs, uh, test fit them inside, uh, have them 3D printed, you will see it in the next episode. And uh, also I will need to modify the sump, so uh, it will fit, now it will be dragging in the ground, so I need to change that. Other things, we'll see. And like always, like, comment, subscribe and peace! <laughs> Training. You know what does it mean? It means shitbox kits. <laughs>